Hey, how are you? Welcome to Joe Dooley's Blog and Grill where we're gonna celebrate garlic bread in the salubrious way. We have got the CIA, oh, that's ciabatta, ciabatta rolls. This is really great bread to do what we're gonna do today. What we need is garlic. We've got garlic. We need green pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of green pepper in there. Cheddar cheese to give it a bit of a different taste. It doesn't always have to be an Italian cheese. And then I top it off with a little bit of prosciutto and then put a little bit of Parmesan in and put in the grill. It's gonna be fantastic. So what do we do first? We take the bread, the ciabatta bread. Now this is a very good bread, I like it. And ironically, we are going to slice it up like the guys from West Side Story. Although we got the bread on the east side. Now you slice the bread like so, okay? So then we've got our garlic all ready to go. Then you just start chopping away. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and I sleep all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He works all night and he sleeps all day. So you make sure that it's chopped pretty fine. So you clean this off here and put that back there. Everything here is clean. Everything is clean. I haven't changed my socks and undies. My wife makes me take a bath every Saturday night whether I need to or not. We take the green pepper. And you don't want to use too much of the green pepper. It's just there to add a little bit of taste. And there we go. Now again, this is going to be a different type of garlic bread. That's why we call it salubrious creations garlic bread. So then what we do is we take the butter already in the little cup, the container. We don't want to mix it up with olive oil. And that's why we use two different things. I never understood that. If you're too stupid to tell the difference between olive oil and butter, you shouldn't be in the kitchen. Now, what we want to do is take a little bit of our garlic, a little bit of our green pepper. Look at that. Okay. Now that's a good mixture. I use olive oil and I add olive oil to it. And the thing I like most about the Salubrious Creations garlic bread is that it's relatively simple, easy to do, easy to make, and it's absolutely delicious. All right. And remember, when you cut the cheese, for goodness sakes, say excuse me. Now we have the very, very mischievous bread sliced. Then we take the paintbrush. You ever see the gangsters, they do that? They paintbrush you? Why I oughta? Get it? The paint stuck with it? <laughs> hey, mm. you idiot. Mm. Slather it up good. Beautiful. Nice. Then I add just a tad bit more of the garlic and green pepper. This gives you a bit more freshness. Look at that big piece of garlic. This will be for anyone watching a vampire movie. That's all they have on TV now. Divorce court and vampires. That's it. No! And, and another thing you need to do is just be quiet. No, I don't have any friends. The next step is take a little bit of the prosciutto. Just take a few big chunks because I'm going to put some cheese over that. Then for a touch, I like to add the Pecorino Romano. This will add a bit of zing to it, which is nice every now and again. Then I just do a little teeny drizzle. There are three things you should never skimp on. And we've got two out of the three here because if I showed you my sexy lingerie, this would not be a family show. <laughs> so the oven, she's already. Place it in there. And you have to watch this. So I do like four minutes at a time. Then you wait. How long did you wait? Five minutes. Five minutes? That's it? Here we go from bake to broil. Make sure it's on high. Now it's only a few moments and you have to keep an eye on it. You have to make sure you keep an eye on it. Oh, look at that. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Fresh and hot right out of the oven. What's the number for 911? Oh God, why does it taste so good? And it hurts so much. Well, that's how you make garlic bread. But one thing, let's make sure that when you take the garlic bread out of the oven, before you eat it, you make goddamn sure that it's not hot because it hurts so much, but it's so good. So, we'll see you next time on Joe Julie's Vlog and Grill.